to the chairman of Khan, our father in the Lord, Apostle Professor Alexandra Bangbola and the lovely wife. Acknowledge the General Superintendent of the Deeper Life Bible Church, Pastor Dr. William Folonsho Kumui and his wife. I extend all my acknowledgement and greetings to all my fathers in the Lord, the prelate Methodist Church, His Eminence, Bishop Kalu Uche, the prelate Emeritus Baba Makinde. I acknowledge my good Egbo brother, Bishop Shola Ore. I acknowledge and I thank Pastor JT Kalejai. I acknowledge the representative of MFM, Dr. Moses Adebowale. I acknowledge all of our Reverend Fathers, all of our fathers in the house today. And I want to thank you and thank you so very much, sir. I also want to acknowledge the leadership of our party, from the chairman of our party, Honorable Tunde Balogun, and all the members of the GAC that are here present. I acknowledge you individually and collectively. I acknowledge the representative of the Oba of Lagos, our royal fathers, the title chiefs, the white captives that are here. I acknowledge all my support staff, the chief of staff, the deputy chief of staff, the body of permanent secretaries that are here. I greet you all. I acknowledge all other all spiritual fathers that are here, chairman of local government, heads of agencies, parastatals, I acknowledge all the good worshippers in the house of God today. And of course, I say thank you very much, gentlemen of the press. My family, my mom is here, and all our families are here. I acknowledge all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much. The president and chairman of Khan had set the tone for today and have taken notes, running the race. Apostle Professor Bangbola, I have four years. On the 29th of May, I was sworn in and I had 1,460 days. Today is the 16th of June, meaning that I have spent 19 days out of the 1,460 days. I have remaining 1,441 days and it is counting. It is going by the day. The day I lost yesterday, I cannot recover it today again. The day I lost last week, I cannot recover it again. I will be answerable to all you men of God at the end of the 1,460 days, what I have done with my time, what I've done in the presence of the 50,000 and plus that are here. I stand in front of you this evening and from the word that have come, from the men of God. That if I want to finish and finish well, I must run with God. That if I want to run and finish well, I must run with the fear of God. That if I want to run and finish well, I must run with humility. That if I want to run and finish well, I must run deliberately to win, to ensure that I'm courageous and I'm just at all times. That if I want to run and finish well, I must run without the worldly distractions that are so many in our midst today. I have taken those words and I've taken them so very seriously, sir. And I want to thank God for ministering to us today. People of God, all of us here today, if you want me to run and finish well, not only will you join me in that prayers, you have a role to play. You have a part to play in it. You have a responsibility to bring forth. You have a duty to do. You have an obligation to render. We have made pronouncement in the last 19 days regarding waste management. This is the house of God. Everybody look around and see how beautiful this place is and see how marvelous this place is. This is the kind of place that we should be happy coming into. This is the minimum 
that all of us should take back home and want our houses to look like this. And so what that means is that if we're not going to come here and litter the house of God, we should begin to think through how we will not raise refuse and waste begin to define who we are. Because that's not who we are. We're people that are clean in heart. And so what we do and how we do it, we certainly must be clean in whatever we do. And so that's why I've given a zero tolerance on waste management, on waste sorting, on waste disposal, to say that those are the things you need to do for me, for me to finish and finish well. I have said, and we've made promulgation on that, we do not want people to drive recklessly. We want people to obey the traffic laws. We want people to understand that they are not the only road user. They are not the only one that has rights of way. There are other people. So if you want me and, and you want me to finish well, don't drive against traffic. Do not drive against traffic. Comply and obey the rules that have been set. The acting chief judge have said to me that he's going to help me set up small, small courts that we can give judgment. And the judgment is that where you commit the offense, you will serve the judgment there. So you will come out of your car and you probably come and clean the gutter in that place. You probably come and carry the refuse in that place. The words that I'm saying today are the words that my father and the Lord have said which is that I must do well and finish well. And for me to do well and finish well, these are part of the responsibilities you must do for me. We have declared zero tolerance on portals, and by the grace of God, we will be, we will be doing it. We have started, we are going to publish a number in the next couple of days, in which you will be sending your pictures. Not that we know that the roads are bad, but the ones that we can fix in terms of portals, they will be working 24-7 to ensure that when you wake up in the morning, the small portals that you see, they will be ensuring that they fix it very quickly. And finally, people of God, so that I don't turn into a campaign rally, but because of the charge that they've given me to say that I must finish well and finish strong, that's why I'm also charging you to help me so that I finish well and finish strong. We're going to very quickly make pronouncement around security. There's been so many issues around security all around Lagos and all around the nation. But we're not going to sit back and fold our arms. We're going to work with the security operatives and in the next couple of days, we're going to make very definitive, pros um, very definitive proclamation on security. What we need to do, how we're going to apprehend people and all of the things that our parents you need to do to ensure that issues around cultism, issues around small, small kidnapping, it becomes something that doesn't come to Lagos. Lagos is a home to all of us. Lagos is a home to the rich and the poor. Lagos is a home to the big and to the mighty. Lagos is the home to the man that stays at the Kurudu. So is it home to the man that stays in Banana? Lagos is home to the man that is in Badagri. So it is home to the man that lives in Alibosho. We will strike to ensure that we do within the resources that is available, within the strength that God has given to us, to make your Lagos, my Lagos, our Lagos, the best that you can ever imagine in the next 1,441 days that I have. God helping me. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. to the King of King and the Lord of Lord, the I am that I am, the one that is bigger than the, big, the Speaker of the House of Assembly, the Right Honorable Speaker, Honorable Mudashiru Obasa, I acknowledge and I thank the Acting Chief Judge for Lagos State, my Lord Justice Kazim Olanrewaju Alokba. I acknowledge